Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to continue forward and I'm going to teach you uterus. Uh, this, for those who don't know, this is uh, the book Shaws which I'm reading for gynecology and we are continuing with the first chapter of anatomy and this is the read with me series of Shaws gynecology. So this is the second part. Let's begin the uterus. The uterus is a pyri is pyriform in shape and measures approximately 9 cm in length, 6.5 cm in width and 3.5 cm in thickness. It is divided anatomically and functionally into a body and a cervix. So what is it saying? That see this is the length which is around 9 cm. Then this is the width which is around 6.5 cm. And then we have the thickness um, which is 3.5 cm. And it is divided into the body of uterus and the cervix of uterus. Now the line of the division corresponds to the level of the internal loss. So this, um, wait a second. So see you can see that this is the internal loss division. So above it is the body and below it is the cervix. Okay, so it's saying that it divides at the level of the internal loss. And here the mucous membrane lining cavity of the uterus becomes continuous with that of the cervical canal. Alright, at this level the peritoneum of the uh, front of uterus is reflected onto the bladder and the uterine artery after passing almost transversely across the pelvis reaches the uterus, turns at right angle and passes vertically upwards along the lateral wall of the uterus. Um, the cervix is divided into vagina and supravaginal portions. So see, you can see in this diagram, what is it saying that at this level of internal loss where the division of cervix and body of the uterus occurs, there's two more things which is happening. Number one, the fold of peritoneum uh, at this level, which is present anteriorly, is actually reflected onto the bladder as well. And at this level, one important thing that occurs is this is the uterine artery which is traveling transversely, almost transversely, uh, in the transverse cervical ligament that is the McEnroth ligament the cardinal ligament see there are five names of this uh, ligament and you must know all the five names because they are frequently asked with different um, you know names I'll tell you in the coming sections so continuing forward this is the uterine artery which travels in the transverse cervical ligament and just below the uterine artery is the ureter and so this this arrangement is known as the under the bridge water flows under the bridge in the ureter the urine is flowing which is comparable to water and bridge is formed by this artery so water is flowing under the artery this is the configuration here coming back this is the transversely arranged uterine artery now it is at the level of internal loss is dividing and well, not dividing actually but it is turning at a right angle upwards and then supplying the uterus and fallopian tube parts and see cervix also has two parts there is a supravaginal part this is the vagina this hole is the cervix so this part of cervix below this line this is lying within the vagina so this is known as the vaginal cervix and this is this area above the vagina is known as the supravaginal portion of the cervix now coming back it says that the cavity of the uterus the fundus of the uterus so it says the fundus of the uterus is the part of the corpus uteri. Corpus uteri is actually the, you can say the body of uterus. Body of uterus is said to be as the corpus uteri. So see which uh, lies above the insertion of the fallopian tube. Okay. Uh, and by the way of abdominal ostia is in direct continuity with the peritoneal cavity. The uterine cavity is triangular in shape and the capacity is 3 ml. Lower angle is formed by the internal os. The lateral angle connected to the fallopian tube is known as the convalent. The wall of the uterus consists of three layers, which is the perimetrium, the outer peritoneal covering, the muscle layer or myometrium and the mucous membrane or endometrium. So I'll try to explain you what they're saying here. They're saying, see, the corpus uteri or the body of cervix, this is the body of, uh, sorry, uterus. This is the body of uterus, the corpus uteri, and this is the cavity of uterus, which is triangular in shape, lower angle formed by the internal loss, lateral angle is formed by the cornual end of tubes. These are the fallopian tube which is connected. So part of the uterine body lying above the level of connection of these fallopian tubes is known as the fundus. So this is somewhere the fundus is. And the cavity, this capacity of this uh, cavity is nothing but 3 ml. Okay. And you need to know this. 
Then apart from this, this is saying it has three layers, the perimetrium, the myometrium and the endometrium. We'll read about these layers in detail now. Okay, so this was the first part of the video, just an introductory part to the uterus. We'll go into the details of these perimetrium, myometrium, endometrium in the coming video parts. That's all. Thank you for watching. Do like, share and subscribe so that you're able to, you know, uh, get each and every part as soon as I'm posting them up. Although, yes, I do get late uh, sometimes and I have a lot many subjects to cover. So this is just a small uh, trial phase and I want you to support me so that I can do much better and this is in this way you can actually open your book and read now when you're opening your book and sitting with me and just reading through certain lines you would feel like reading the book more so this would just add on to your you know daily work so you need not study much but just two to three hours per day for a particular book book reading is actually important and especially the standard text reading all right so that's all thank you so much